Welcome back, eSim Studios. My name is Taylor Bell. Got a special edition episode here for you. So yesterday we got the Pixel 9 Pro XL in black model. Today we got the pink Pixel 9 Pro XL. It's the Mr. and Mrs. Smith edition. Pixel edition, shall I say. Now let me trans transition to the overhead camera here. Let me switch views. Look at this device. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, not really going to do an unboxing. I debated whether or not to do one, but every year the unboxing experience is getting devalued every year, right? So this year, it literally is a box, a phone, and the charger. So no need for an unboxing. This is what you want to see anyway, so why waste time with an unboxing? Um, fantastic color absolutely fantastic color you can kind of see look it's a subtle pink it's not a bold pink the regular pixel 9 not the 9 pro not the small pro one but the just the stock pixel 9 non pro variant um is the bold pink but i like this one better now i'm not going to use this this is for my daughter she's she wants me to hurry up and finish this little initial review because she's dying to get on it i had to rip it out of her hands I'm kind of exaggerating but she did not want to let it go for a good reason this is this is for women this is the perfect device if you're a pixel lover and let's say you have a pixel 8 right 8 pro and you're like damn should i upgrade and the answer is yes the build quality I'm going to say it over and over and over again. The build quality is on another level. This is iPhone level build quality. Look at this. Please excuse my fingerprints here. Um, as you can tell, we've been toying with it a little bit. We literally just got it in. Uh, let me wipe it down. But... It is an absolute beautiful device. Look at this thing. Just gorgeous, man. It's the absolute perfect device. I got his a black. Now, it looks gray in some situations, and it looks jet black in some situations. But the key that is that I like about these is that it has the matte finish, right? So it's not glossy like the Pixel 8s and the Pixel 7s. Actually, the Pixel 6 as well is gloss. I like the matte finish. Won't show fingerprints. Unfortunately, I think next year they're going to do the matte side as well. The sides of these are glossy, as you can tell. Now, the sides, this one has a pink tone. So it's not chrome. It's not a silver. It's a shiny pink has a pink tone, matches the back of this device. Now, the camera bar here is that same shade of pink, and so is the border around it, the same shade of pink. As you can tell right there. Beautiful device. Look at this. See how they put that pink border around the uh, power button right there? A power button. Uh, I stumbled over my words. I'm so excited. The pink border around the Type C port. Jesus. You have the antenna, uh, antennas right there for the 4G, and you got the big 5G antenna up top. Here's another 4 4G antenna. You got two more antennas right here with the power button, volume up, volume down, microphone up top in your sim slot on the bottom microphone and then your speaker down below just a beautiful device man uh i'm just i'm blown away by the build quality of these things this one um i haven't even really set up uh, i got some apps on there not all the apps i'm going to fully set it up this weekend this one i haven't even turned on so we literally just got it in the mail beautiful device now I have a I have some devices here. So if you're if you're and I'm going to do a size comparison. So if by chance you have one of these devices and you're considering upgrading, you can kind of tell what size they are. I also have the Google Pixel case, the official case. Let's go ahead and throw it on there. See what it looks like in the pink version, right?
Wow, that's pretty. God, it's so nice, man. I'm I'm just I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Just the absolute perfect phone now. Absolute perfect phone. Let's do So let's so let's say you got the S24 Plus. Right? Purple or I guess violet. Similar design language, you got the flat sides, flat back, flat front panel, similar to this one. 6.7 inch display, 6.8 inch display, roughly the same size though. Now the Pixel is a little taller, right? So this is, as you can tell, the width is the same. The width is the same. Now look, the height is just a shit, just a, just a, about a notification bar in size difference as you can tell the pixel is just a little bit taller right but same width and same height i believe pretty damn close as far as design and everything huh look at that so that's the s24 plus let's say you have uh, s24 ultra Pretty close in size. S24 Ultra is a hair wider. And it looks like it's a hair thicker. And they are exactly the same height. So Pixel 9 Pro XL, definitely a big device. But um, it fits in your hand perfectly. Um, absolutely perfect. Now, here is the Flip Z Flip 6. Just like that. This is a very tall device. And look at that. Now that's a hair taller than the Pixel. Pixel's a tiny bit wider. Um, but generally the same size, right? So no matter what device you're coming from, look, all devices are getting a little bigger year by year. Um, here's the nothing phone. Excuse me, Jesus. I'm really, I'm messing up today. I was looking at a nothing phone. Here's the OnePlus 12, right? Same thing. About, about Right about the same size. So you're going to get roughly the same size in all these XL devices, all these pro uh, uh, models that are bigger in size. You, look, they're all going to be generally right around the same size. But this one fits in your hand perfect. You can actually use that camera bar. You can rest your finger up against it and use it just like that right just like this perfect absolutely beautiful looking phone oh boy man they sure did it they sure nailed it this year and the cpu i've been using this have no fear uh i did uh it was one of, one of my initial question marks coming into this device really didn't know what to expect uh, but I haven't had any issues, right? I don't play games on my phones. I don't have one single game on my phone. I, I'm a heavy multitasker, online work, online business, uh, content creation. Uh, no issues in about 24 hours using that device. So I don't think you will either. There, um, the CPU should not be an issue, right, this year. So... Uh, but again, I don't play games, so if you're a gamer, you might want to uh, look into that a little more. But with everything else, it's been fantastic. It's able to do everything, and it's buttery smooth. So don't let people tell you that the CPU is trash, because so far, it's handled everything. Now, we're going to get more extensively, uh, more extensive testing as time goes on, especially through the weekend. Camera photos, camera samples, we're going to test these sensors against those sensors that I just compared them to the OnePlus 12, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra, um, and uh, the Nothing phones, which, look, I'm obviously the Pixel beat the Nothing phones, but I'll do a comparison and uh, you can see how they match up. So this was a quick video, a quick introduction to the Pixel 9 Pro XL pink model, right? got a him and hers and uh man my daughter's gonna love this so i better get this to her before she knocks down this studio door
she loves Pixel. Thank God. Thank God I, I have a teenage daughter that does not use iPhone. Oh, it would just tear my heart out if she switched to iPhone. Uh, oh, I'm glad she hasn't. So, uh, stay tuned to the channel. And don't forget, we live stream every single day right around 4 or 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Join us. If you miss us today, make sure you join us tomorrow. We talk tech every single day. Whatever's in the headline news in the technology world, we will discuss it. eSIM Studios, subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of reviews with these two devices coming soon. I got to get outside and start taking some pictures. Peace.